Just Chanel here. Hey guys, Smoking Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. Please do not smoke in front like, of I'm gonna a, a let them finish this little announcement they got. Okay, so back with another flight attendant vlog. This is 12 hours, the day in the life of a flight attendant. I just got to work. It is 8.09 and so 12 hours. Let's go, let's do it. just made it through security. My sign in is at 8.35. So I'm actually going to go get food. I'm really hungry um, and I should have time to grab like a salad or something. I kind of want like a Mexican style like steak salad. So I think I may do Willie's or Cordobo which I have never eaten in Atlanta but we'll see if they're open. Yes please, thank you. Just cheese. Alright, I'm going to That'll be it. And I'm actually getting a quesadilla. All right, I have 10 minutes until I have to sign in. Actually, let me go ahead and sign in. I'm grab my little work phone. They changed our gate. Wait. Right. All right, so our gate was changed. Um, so I'm gonna head to the gate because it's a little bit further. Um, I would have had time to like eat all my food in the lounge, go to briefing and whatnot. But anyway, I had to go to the lounge anyway First because floor. we get, we have to get, uh, excuse me, we get our temperature checked anyway. So um, would have had to go to the lounge, but I'm gonna head over to the B concourse and then eat on the plane because it's much more comfortable. I made it to the gate. Still with a solid 20 minutes to eat. So I'm excited. It smells so good on this jet bridge, like even through my mask. I don't know what they use to clean or vacuum because you know there's carpet, but it smells amazing. I'm back in the concourse. <laughs> oh, I think my food's good a little bit. Oh, no, it's fine. I went to the plane, but the cleaners had just got on the plane. And you know, they're like super deep cleaning the planes and stuff. So it takes a little bit longer. Um, I have about 15 minutes until I have to be like at the gate for real, for real anyway. So I was like, well, I just come back out in the concourse and find like an empty gate and eat. So <laughs> I'm going to try this again. Before we go to the hotel, I'm going to pour water in my oh, water bottle so that I can stay hydrated overnight. <laughs> If I needed a snack, now I don't. Because child, that's a lot of water. Okay, ready to go. We have arrived. We literally probably have like four hours of sleep. But I wanted to show y'all back there. You probably can't see it right now. But this is a place called Kava. So good, like one of my favorite airport restaurants. Um, I don't think they'll be open in the morning either, but we're in Washington, D.C. right now. I really love Washington, D.C. Both of the layovers. Like the hotels are really nice. Um, so of course I'll give y'all a little bit of a hotel room tour. Thank you. My room key doesn't work. You know, this happens sometimes. I got another room key. He said he probably just maybe forgot to activate the room key. So, going up again, and we're gonna try to get in the room, do a quick little tour, and um, go to bed. Guys, I have a memory in this hotel. I'm just checking it for, you know, bad people. 
So literally, I remember the last time I stayed here, your girl broke a heel. My heel literally broke as I was walking down the hallway. And so I came back to the room and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Obviously I had my onboard shoes, um, but I actually left my shoes in the hotel room, like right here, right here. What side of the bed do y'all sleep on? Let me turn the TV off because I ain't gonna watch it. So I always sleep on this side of the bed. And if there's double beds, I always sleep in this one. And I don't know, it's just always been like that. It's so weird though, because at home I sleep on that side of the bed. So what side do I sleep? I, if I'm walking up to the bed, yeah. I sleep on the right side of the bed at home if I'm facing the bed, but I sleep on the left in a hotel. That's so strange. I don't know, it's weird. I just put my suitcase right here on this little bench. Usually I use the luggage rack, you already know, but this um, smaller bag that I have, is like an overnighter bag. It just stands right on up and you can literally pack it and unpack it standing. So it's super convenient for like shorter trips. My bathroom routine, so I always put down the hand towel and then I just lay everything out, um, especially when I have early pickups. I mean, I do it no matter what, but this really helps when I have early pickups. I come in here, wash my face, brush my teeth, deodorant, a little bit of skincare, do my hair and everything is just ready to go. And I can put it all back into my little organizer here and throw it in my bag. I'm gonna do my skincare really quickly before I go to sleep. So we're going to use, of course, my Foreo Luna 3 to wash my face. And then I'm also gonna do a quick smart mask using the Foreo UFO. Um, this is like a 90 second facial. This mask it's the call it a night ginseng and olive oil and yeah I haven't used this one before yet I don't think or maybe I just used it once but I want to start um, using my Foreo UFO 2 on my trips like making sure that I'm masking often especially because you know summer is right around the corner to wash my face I'm using the Kula cult classic purifying face cleanser this stuff is bomb So the Luna 3, this is the Luna 3, my facial cleansing brush, it's made of silicone, so it is super hygienic. Um, you don't have to worry about changing your brush heads or anything like that. And I love how it just, how it's shaped, like it really gets into the, you know, crevices, the creases of your nose and right under your eye. Um, it also has massage settings, it has 16 different speeds. It's just bomb.com. Like, it definitely makes a difference. I started using this at the very beginning of the pandemic. Um, so it's been right, over, right about a year, actually. And my skin um, definitely suffers from less of breakouts. It's really great for just getting all that makeup, dirt, um, you know, debris, any type of, type of grime out of your skin. You can definitely tell the difference. Like, if you wash your face with your hands, and then you go in, and you wash your face um, or you tone with like witch hazel or whatever, you'll notice that your cotton pad is still dirty, right? But when you wash your face with this Luna 3 boom, your face is clean. Like I don't have to double or triple cleanse when I use that. So you're saving product for sure. After cleansing, I'm just gonna go on with my mask and then I'll probably follow up with a little bit of oil. Your sheet mask looks like this, right? And then you put this clip on it just to hold it in place it's red right now so i believe this is the one that like kills the bacteria so you just literally rub it around your face it gets warm so now it's like massaging uh, but i believe the red light really helps with breakouts so you can literally hold it over your breakout areas as well and it like fights your breakouts um, all while you know moisturizing your skin or whatever the treatment mask that you put on here um, and you know just really penetrates into your skin well using the UFO oh, now we got the green light and I'm gonna be honest I don't know what this one does so I've been using this in forever I just feel like I only really use this on the go and obviously I'm at home a lot so now that I'm going to go more I'm gonna start using it Okay, so this one's gotten like a little bit 
cooler. That red is my favorite. I should have brought some tweezers because, girl, these chin ears, I feel like I don't really be paying attention to my facial hair anymore because we always have on masks. I'm just going to follow up with a little marula oil. This is from Drunk Elephant. My favorite product, this is my hands down, my favorite skincare product. Um, I don't know, I feel like it definitely fights breakouts. It moisturizes so well without your face being like greasy and super oily. I just over, I just love it. Like I'm not a huge fan of cream moisturizers except the one I use in the morning that I share with y'all. It's bomb. Um, but this just is, it just gives me that balance my skin needs. And sometimes I'd be super oily looking when I first put it in, but after like 10 minutes, it absorbs so well and it is so good under makeup. Like I like my makeup dewy. I like it to melt into my skin and this just gives me that like, whew, it's so good. This is from Sunday Rituals. Um, it's a body oil and this is like the lavender sweet one it's all natural it smells so good so i always use this when i'm you know traveling when you're not at home in your own bed you really want like to still have a restful peaceful night's rest so this definitely helps me do that i used to carry a pillow spray with me but i feel like some stuff i carried was like super extra so this just is perfect it's small and it does what it needs to do. All right, now for the teeth brushing, and I'm going to sleep after that. I forgot something, my hair. So um, actually, I like to wet my brush a little bit. Usually I take a shower, you know, right before I go to sleep, but I already took a shower before I went to work. So I just usually let like my edges get wet in the shower because it makes for smooth edges in the morning. My hair is currently curled and your girl can wear it down if I wanted to. Um, how I maintain my curls, y'all see how my curls are? Wowzer. It's giving what it needs to get. Let me get a thumbnail. How I maintain my curls. So I literally do like this to my hair. Like if you curl your hair at night, I don't like to wrap it because that obviously loosens your curls. You just go in the direction of your curls, do a little loose top bun, put your scarf on, and your curls will stay. Here we have alarms. Okay, so pickup is at 5 a.m. I have to be downstairs at 5 because it like actually really leaves thin. <laughs> um, so I'm going to set my alarm for 4 30 it really only takes me 10 minutes to get ready but since i'm gonna film um the morning skincare that'll give me like 10 minutes to snooze 10 minutes to film and then you know two minutes to get dressed like after i film i guess and then also give me like eight minutes that makes sense it's been real oh it got brighter <laughs> No home time. Good morning. Okay, so my alarm, oh, this is one of my snooze alarms. Oh no, this is my alarm saying I need to be walking out the door. So we're about to speed this up a bit. For my moisturizer, I'm using the Tula 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I'm not a huge fan of facial creams. like, not that in a bit. But this is so good, y'all. It is so moisturizing and I love using their hydrating primer too. Um, it literally like blurs your pores and everything. But this moisturizer, 
I gotta get the, the real big one of this for my house because I just tried this little trial size and girl, he's good. Made it to the airport. Your girl was rushing. <laughs> but I'm about to get some tea. I think Dunkin' Donuts is open. I feel refreshed. Um, however, I am gonna take a nap when I get home because I can't. Uh, All right, y'all already know. Gotta do my love that liver this morning. I uh, don't have any lemon juice, and my best friend, she got me like these lemon packets that's equivalent to like a lemon slice. It literally tastes just like a lemon, but uh, somehow Amazon lost them. Like I tried one of hers, but then they lost the package. So. We're gonna try to feature, feature those in another vlog, but here's my infuser bottle and we're gonna give this a flip like so. And we will let this do its thing for about five minutes. Back in Atlanta, y'all, it is not even eight o'clock yet. So our 12 hours are still going, okay? I am about to hop into my Uber. Um, I called it and it's only a minute away, which is great because recently Atlanta Ubers have not only been like extremely expensive, but they take like 15, 20 minutes to get to you. So I'm excited. Let's check the time. Okay, it's 8.02. I think I started this video at 8.06. So we've almost hit our 12 hour point. A little bit of an update though. My morning was real rushed. Like when I try to film, it's really hard. So if you guys want me to do another one of these, and probably give myself some more time, just let me know. Um, also, I mentioned that I left my water bottle at the hotel. That's not the only thing that I left once I started like looking at my purse. I definitely should have gotten, like went back in the room, got, got a room key and like went back in the room and checked the room. Um, but I called the hotel and let them know, you know, everything that I left behind. So I'm probably gonna go back to DC in the next like week. And they hopefully will have all of my, belongings it is cold man it's chilly oh did y'all catch that it just turns all right our 12 hours is up girl it is so cold oh thank you yeah it's a little chilly outside today i was like shocked i said man i should have brought my sweater yeah, it was like this yesterday. Oh. Once the sun went down, it was horrible. Like, yeah, man. 50 degrees. Right. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, let me know if you have any other flight attendant content you'd like to see. Um, I will catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.